Hello everyone. So we are back with this series of lectures of finance at PYQs with topic discussion, and this is the fourth video. In this, we'll discuss these questions. The first question came in INS at twenty twenty two. The question read as a patient with heart disease had breathlessness on going to bathroom. Which grade does he belong to? So INS set has this. टेंडेंसी टू आस द क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन तो जो आपने अपने क्लिनिकल राउंड्स पे या फिर फाइनल ईयर प्रैक्टिकल वाइवा में पढ़े होंगे वहां से भी दो तीन क्वेश्चन टेंडेंसी टू आस ओके तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द पेशेंट हैज हार्ट डिजीज ओके सो द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ब्रेथलेसनेस फॉर हार्ट डिजीज इज एन वाई एच एस कोरी वाइल फॉर पलमनरी डिजीज लाइक सी ओ फू पी डी इज एम एम आर सी so nyha the full form is new york heart association you will tell me in the comment section ki what is the full form of mmrc now the patient is having heart disease so nyha may say hi answer hoga mmrc or out okay now the patient is having breathlessness on going to bathroom so it is nyha 3 let us discuss this nyh scoring so nyh 1 means there is no limitation of physical activity ordinary physical activity doesn't cause undue breathlessness fatigue or palpitations so basically one is there is no limitation of physical activity but fir isko grading mein dala kyun so abhi aapko bhi koi limitation ho nahi physical activity mein so are you nyh 1 NYHC classification is used for baseline cardiac disease. तो कोई अगर cardiac disease का patient है और उसे कोई breathlessness नहीं हो रही on any physical activity, then it is NYHC one. Otherwise किसी को कोई cardiac disease नहीं है, normal person है, no limitation of physical activity है, तो उसको NYHC one नहीं बोलेंगे. NYHC one one means baseline cardiac disease with no limitation of physical activity. NYHC two there is slight limitation of physical activity. ऑर्डिनरी फिजिकल एक्टिविटी रिजल्ट इन अंड्यू ब्रेथलेसनेस फटीक और पेल्पिटेशन मतलब कोई भी ऑर्डिनरी एक्टिविटी जो आप पहले कर रहे थे वो अब करने में ब्रेथलेसनेस हो रही है लाइक गोइंग टू ऑफिस क्लाइंबिंग टू फ्लाइट ऑफ स्टेयर्स लाइक दिस ओके थ्री मीन्स मार्क लिमिटेशन ऑफ फिजिकल एक्टिविटी पेशेंट इज कम्फर्टेबल एट रेस्ट बट लेस देन ऑर्डिनरी फिजिकल एक्टिविटी रिजल्ट इन ब्रेथलेसनेस फटीक और पेल्पिटेशन तो लेस देन नॉर्मल फिजिकल एक्टिविटी लाइक गोइंग टू वॉशरूम ओके Like these kind of activities makes you breathless. And why? Because four means that you are unable to carry any physical activity without discomfort. Like, आप से बैठ से उठ के खड़े हो रहे हो, उसमें भी आपको discomfort हो रहा है, breathlessness हो रही है. Or symptoms at rest. Rest पे भी आपको dizziness हो रहा है. Or थोड़ा सा भी physical activity कर रहे हो, तो discomfort बढ़ रहा है. Okay. This is why it's four. This is MMRC scoring, which is used for pulmonary diseases like COPD. And why? Actually, there are class one to four. While in MMRC, we have grade zero to four. So grade zero means not troubled by breathlessness except on strenuous exercise. Grade one means shortness of breath when hurrying or walking on a uphill. Okay. Grade two means walk slower than your contemporaries on the level. Because of breathlessness or has to take a stop for breath when walking at own pace. या तो आप धीरे चल रहे हो या फिर आप own pace से चल रहे हो साथ वाले लोगों के साथ चल रहे हो but you have to stop for a breath. Grade three means stop for breath after walking hundred meter or after a few minutes on a level ground. And grade four is too breathless to leave the house or breathless when dressing or undressing or even breathless at rest. So this is the MMRC scoring, which is used for pulmonary diseases like COPD. This is the second question, which again came in INS set 2022. The question reads: A patient with diabetes, hypertension, and CKD has elevated serum creatinine and urea levels. Which of the following OHA is safe to use? Okay, so basic concept is: Just be patient. Our CKD develop or jata hai and GFR less than 30 हो जाता है। On sub को we cannot give any OHA because most of the OHAs are nephrotoxic और उनका excretion renal route से होता है। But only one OHA which is safe in 
CFR level of less than 30 is linagliptin. So linagliptin is uh, has its excretion through the uh, hepatic route, so it is safer in kidney diseases. Other than that, we can give SGLT2 inhibitors, but they can be given up to the level of 30 GFR. So if GFR less than 30, then we cannot even give SGLT2 inhibitors. Then the treatment of choice in these patients of CKD with GFR less than 30 is insulin and only OHA that can be given is linagliptin. Okay. Glimipride is which class of OHA you have to tell me in the comment section. Azinatide is which class of OHA you have to tell me in the comment section. Vildagliptin and linagliptin both are TPP4 inhibitors. And SCLT2 inhibitors, for example, are dapagliflozin, ampagliflozin. Okay. So they both can be given up to GFR of 30. Usse niche we cannot give them. Other than that, dapagliflozin and ampagliflozin, the SCLT2 inhibitors, they are quite hot topic because ye abhi cardiac drugs ke tarah bhi use ho rahi hai. Okay. So these are used in guideline directed medical therapy in cardiac diseases as well. So SGLT2 inhibitors are very important. This question on the probability is very high. Also, SGLT2 ke inhibitors ke two side effects hote hai, which are very unique. So you have to tell me in the comment section with that which two side effects are there in SGLT2 inhibitors. Okay, all the best guys.